1950, a big year for Delvin Miller, the winner of the Hambletonian. Your that's first. Right. That's right, Roger. It was quite a thrill, though. And I beat two great horses. Uh, you sure did. An, Star ent an entry. Stars, Pride, and Florican. Right. Turned out to be great sires. Mm -hmm. Lusty Song. Great racehorse or not? Good horse. Ha unsound, but he gave you all he had. He was ver very game and had speed, and I just saved enough the second he just barely went and beat uh, Stars Pride. It was a straight dash victory, though? Yes, two straight heats. Okay. Let's take a look at some footage from the 1950 Hambletonian, won by our old buddy here, Delvin Miller. Going into the 1950 Hambletonian, Stars Pride was the favorite. Did you think he had a, a shot with Lusty Song? Oh, yes, I thought I had a shot with him, but uh, two of my best friends were driving uh, the entry. Stars Pride and, uh, was driven by Johnny Simpson. There's Charlie Coburn, one of our great harness owners from Hollywood fame. Made a couple of Trotten Horse movies, too. The other uh, driver, the, the driver on Florican, was Harry Ponell. That's right, very good friend of mine, too. Starting gate uh, takes you away, and the wings kind of fold a bit different than we're used to seeing nowadays. That's right. That was the original Steve Phillips starting gate. Mm -hmm. Steve Phillips, a gentleman who revolutionized harness racing with the invention of the mobile starting gate. Have any idea where you are here in this field? Were you on the front end or not? I'm on the front end. I was on the front end all the way both heats. Wire you'll, to wire you'll victory. See, you'll see Johnny come up and he had me... A little worried, but I tried to save a little for the last, and I saved the, just enough brush to get Johnny right at the end of it. He got up nearly a, a half a head ahead of me, about right there. But you'll watch, I just had a little in reserve. Lusty Song, Delvin Miller, winning the 1950 Hambletonian in the time of 2.02.